So, you will probably already know, like, because we're going to be looking into the future because of the length of this video, whether or not um, um, things have turned out how they should. Yeah, spoilers, there's a cup final coming. Hello guys and welcome to Dreaming is Possible here with Chesterfield and yes it's a packed episode today yes um, we're not going to play all of the, the three that are down here but look at how it's like sort of panned out we've got a Champions League first round against Valencia then we've got the Carabao Cup final yeah spoilers and yeah we got past West Ham Lake in the second leg um, yeah that's that's it was it was one all um, but we did get you know obviously with the overall because obviously we beat them 2-0 in the first leg so yeah we've gone through to the final we are playing Chelsea in the Carabao Cup final but I will not be happy having the West Ham um, game in the FA Cup fifth round. That's not going to be in the episode. I'm not going to like, you know, bore you too much with like, you know, the length of how this could end up because, and the reason I'm saying that is, I don't know, you guys probably already know because of the length of the video, whether or not this has ended up going to penalties or not, like, you know, but um, yeah, um, we'll see how things pan out. But like I say, yeah, we'll be kicking things off against Valencia. Yeah, that's who we got drew against in the Champions League. Just going to show you like, obviously the other draws, like, and, and, and some results as well, as you can see, that have already come through. We've got Bayer Leverkusen and Real Madrid, 0-0 after their first leg. We've got Benfica and Barcelona, also 0-0. BSG, Tottenham, 1-1. One, one. We've got Liverpool beating Lazio 3-1, so it's a good result for them. We've got Atletico beating Arsenal 4-1. Not a good result for Arsenal, but yeah, Jurgen Klopp there at Atletico Madrid having a great um, result there. And then Monaco, yeah, beating the holders. Yes, Milan, AC Milan are the holders. And um, yeah, getting a bit of a, whop, a wallop there like from um, Monaco. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it's not over, you know what I mean? They can maybe still like get through in that one. Uh, but like I say, we have got Valencia. Not too bad a draw. Um we'll see how that one um, like goes, you know. Not sure how, how Valencia are these days. We'll we'll see. Um, but yeah, that, that is what's coming up. And like I say, Chelsea are the team that we're going to be facing in the Carabao Cup. But just to give you a bit of a rundown, we have lost, as you can see there, there's a big L. Yes, if any of you know it, we've lost to Brighton. But then again, Brighton have been doing fairly well in the league sort of thing. And um, as you see from this... Um, Hmm, yeah, it's the penalty that's kind of like, you know, like threw it away there. Yeah, um, that's what's like, like kind of done us in a little bit because as you can see with regards to like the game and the amount of attempts and stuff that we had yeah we should have won this game but yeah it's that penalty they, they gave them like that 2-0 impetus and it wasn't until like I can say like the, the 86th minute that we actually got ourselves a goal and fair play to Brighton you know what I mean um, but it, it's kind of like sort of momentum we got from like the last episode when we beat Liverpool um, giving us that like you know that chance at the top of the Premier League well it's put us back on level points again so there we are so yeah like I say it's, it's two horse race um, and it is definitely goal difference um, obviously from that 12 nil um, drubbing of Burnley that we did that helped us like you know what I mean but um, yeah this is definitely going to go to the wire and it's going to be uh, I've got a feeling there's going to be a few more games in there that are going to like throw things um, a little bit like skew but if we win the remaining games then we won it like you know so there we go as long as like Liverpool don't score you know a master a, a vast amount of goals and stuff like that but um, yeah that's for another time isn't it it's like it's cup competitions now like I say like you know with regards to um, today's episode so let's kick things off then as we face um, Valencia we are away for the first leg. Can we get ourselves some away goals? That's what we're hoping for. Um, we've got Timo Horn in goal, Cruz, Rifi, Ilyovsky, and B Piana are going to be the back four. We've got uh, Dreyer and Riccardi in the midfield with Appleby, Warner, Baptista just ahead of them, like in that sort of striking midfield roles. And then it's Charlie Lawrence that's going to be leading the line. As you can see with regards to Valencia, they've got quite an aging side with the likes of Everton, Guedes in there, Gomez. Like these players now, like, you know, are 30 plus, like, you know, Diacarbi also. Um, we've got actually one of our old boys if you remember some of you viewers that will remember Eric Van Hiltz yes he, he just didn't have what it took to, to get in, into the into this side and um, we he had him out on loan a few times he did play a few games for us here and there but um, yeah it, it just wasn't to be so he'll probably be looking for one of those sort of games where he wants to prove that we should never let him go so we have a chance on the far side as Cruz throws this one into Appleby. He gets the ball back from him, looking to find Riccardi. He plays this one across, trying to find Warner. It's actually fallen to Piana. Can he get the ball to anybody? He has found somebody. What a save. Don't know if the keeper knew much about it, but he made two great saves. And it's in, in the end, Charlie Lawrence it is. He couldn't keep the third shot out. Like, but the keeper, I don't think he knew much about the first shot. I think that just kind of like, hit him. And um, we'll see, like, obviously here on the replay. Like, but the keeper didn't really like sort of know much there. 
I think that just like you hit him. This one he did actually save from Baptista, and then it's Cherry Lawrence then was just following up in the right place at the right time, and we have got um, a crucial away goal. It's interesting to see. I've just noticed like what the keeper's wearing. He's not. He's got like blue shorts. I've just noticed that, but I'm talking about that. Is our Mader is like you know has managed to um, get himself here towards the box. Piano has done well to like you know he was in the like sort of defender back there was helping out. Um, Everton's now on the ball. I'll talk more about the goalkeeper in a moment. But it's Alvaro is now as he puts this one across here finds Guedes. Now we've got to be careful not to bring him down. Plays this one across, and we were too careful because we let him get across in, and Everton's there. But actually, it's been chalked off by the looks of it. Offside. Um, I think it's not even Guedes, is it? It's Guedes here putting this one in, but no, like as he's gone here, yeah, Everton has like gone too soon, and um, yeah, it's got caught offside. But yeah, the goalkeeper's wearing like blue shorts and blue socks, which is um, you wouldn't expect him to be wearing that. Is it because the referee has got black? Maybe, maybe that's it, and a bit of confusion. That's the possibility. Good save there. But I'm just looking at the ref. He's got the same colours, like sort of socks and shirts as what Valencia's got. And maybe they thought like with him wearing a different top, people might get confused in being the referee. I don't know. I'm not sure. not seen that before. Um, I don't think I've seen that in real life. Maybe. Maybe I have and just not, never noticed before. So we reach half time, and as you can see, yeah, we are dominating the shots and stuff. We're only leading by a goal to nil, though. That's the thing. But yeah, good to see that we've got quite a lot of those shots on target. But... As we saw from the keeper who initially kept the two of the saves out, didn't he? And then they'll obviously Charlie getting that, that third shot on him. And the keeper is definitely, as you can see already, he's made 11 shots saved. You know, it's their goalkeeper that is keeping Valencia in this tie for sure. So we just got to hope that like complacency doesn't like, you know, settle in or, or we think that, you know, we've done the job with just a one goal. I, I'd like to, to take a couple more goals. It would be nice like to take back to the Proac Stadium. And here's a great opportunity for Baptista. And we have done that as the second half is underway a nice controlled header from him from the right sided like midfielder there as you can see Cruz searching for from that right back position going all the way over to this left hand side here um which maybe confused like Valencia totally confused like you know certain players and stuff and Baptista though a lovely looping header and this time the keeper is not able to keep that one out so Piana goes long over the top here. Chai Lawrence has took that ball down well. And Moran Morante in goal is like, yeah, another save from him. Um, like I say, keeping Valencia in this tie at this moment. As now Kyle Warner puts this ball in from the corner. And there's a definite opportunity there to get number three, but not able to. As Almeida now is like surging forward and a great challenge there from the captain, Drea. Chance maybe for Valencia to get something back here as the um, as the time is getting into late. So ten minutes to go, and he has got one. Guedes with a shot there, and I think Timo Horn was a little bit sort of unsighted. Um, he was a bit slow to get down, and Guedes has managed to get Valencia back into this tie. But it is headed out initially and just hit on the volley straight away, and I think it's just caught. As you can see, there's a Valencia player just number four. They're just in front of him, and um, yeah, it's caught him out, and um, yeah, Valencia got themselves back into this. So we're going to make um, all three changes um, for this one. Um, basically, we're going to bring on Oli Clay, going to come in at right back just because Cruz is looking like a little bit tired. Dreyer has got a yellow card, so he's going to come off. The Baptiste just pick up a, a knock. He's just picked up a knock, but he's also on a yellow card. So Diaz is coming in there. And I was just saying about Dreyer, but yeah, it's Neto that has come on for him. And like I say, as you can see over here, just less than 10 minutes to go. Can we like maybe get another goal? That'd be great. So we are on the ball here as Appleby plays this one out here to Warner on that left-hand side. Warner now cuts inside, trying to get past, trying to do it maybe too much by himself there. He's got other options. Now played out here and Piana's got in behind. Great ball across and it's chance for Baptista. The substitutions haven't been made just yet. He is going to, even though he's got that injury, he has got, got himself his second goal and he is now going to make way as the substitutions now will, will obviously happen. He'll probably be a little bit disappointed now that he's coming off, but, you know, he's got himself an injury. I need, I need to protect that. That. But yeah, coming in with a second header and that has given us that two goal advantage again. And there we go. Three goals to one. A good result in Spain. It should have been a lot more to be fair, as you can see. But if it wasn't for like, you know, he's, he's moved from there now. Um, but yeah, it was their goalkeeper, Marante. He'd, he'd saved 11 shots in that first half. Don't know how many he's ended up like saving in the end. Like, you know what I mean? But yeah, um, good performance from their goalkeeper, even though like uh, obviously the scoreline was 3-1. It would have been a hell of a lot more if it wasn't for that goalkeeper being in, in, in between the sticks. But there we are. 
that is going to give us a boost going to Wembley as we take on Chelsea. Yeah. So, yes, Carabao Cup time here against Chelsea. We have got Castellano, who has been our cup goalkeeper, domestic cup goalkeeper, that is. In goal, we've got Cruz, Rifi, Ukmakano, and Oli Clay as the back four. Dre and Riccardi in midfield. Appleby is going to play in the cam. Warner and Unkunku, because obviously Baptista picked up that injury against Valencia um, out on the right. And then we've got Charlie Lawrence is going to be up top as well. We've got a few players that obviously aren't fully fit because obviously the midweek game. Chelsea, on the other hand, have got a lot more fitter players because they didn't have a midweek game. They were not even playing in Europe. No, so we got the game with, with, with regards to like Chelsea. There are players in there that you will recognise, like like to Phil Foden, Mason Mount. We got Tamori there. Um, Cottrell, we know all about when he was at Liverpool. Always scores against us. He's now moved to Chelsea. Moise Keane is up top. He's actually got a captain's armband there as well. Like I just noticed. It. Um, but yeah, it's not going to be an easy game because it's a cup game. You know what I mean? And it's a final as well. So form, all that sort of thing always goes out of the window. And um, yeah, let's just see which team wants wants it the most, really. Um, it's just nice to get a piece of silverware. Like at the end of the day, it's not a major importance if we don't win it, but it's always nice because it just gives you that momentum, doesn't it? Like, you know what I mean? As well. The thing is, is we've, we've been disposed deposed I should say get my words out um, off the top of the Premier League because obviously we're playing in this Liverpool are playing in the league they're not in this competition they've all they've just beaten Crystal Palace four goals to nil so they are now um, back on top so yeah um, we are going to be playing catch up um, in the Premier League with regards to games and stuff like that but anyway um, yeah if you want to be in all these competitions what's the best thing to do go out there and win them so a chance here for Oli Clay. He throws this one in to find Onkunku. Onkunku tries to get that one back inside to find Riccardi, but Mason Mount was quicker to it than what he was. Um, has now got the possession back for Chelsea. Here's Tamori on the ball. Plays this one out here to their left-hand side with Cucurella. Looking for... Um, possible you know chances ahead of him but um yeah he's being pinned pinned back at the moment by the Chesterfield players Cotrell now has got a bit of space now we know what he can do to us he's, he's damaged us so many times in the past and it looks like he's damaged us again by putting a great ball in there to so Bazal I can't say his name properly um you know what I mean and Chelsea have taken the lead and we need to I've got Cotrell down there's not what else can you do when you man mark the guy he's like you know yeah we are still like letting him get crosses in like you know you've got to close those like those like chances down and we just didn't do so so we are playing catch up as Cruz puts this one over the top. Lawrence now has brought this one down. Great strike. Is he onside? He is. I was a bit dubious of whether, I don't know if he was offside or not, but he wasn't. And what a great finish. And to give us the equaliser there. Yeah, great um, vision um, and from Cruz. But also like the, the fact that Charlie timed his run perfectly and um, brings it down superbly. Plazari does get a hand to it, but it's just not strong enough. And um, yeah, Lawrence has given us um, the equaliser. So it is one apiece. As you can see, Chelsea have only had one shot on target. Yeah, it's one of those kind of cup finals, isn't it? Like, you know, we, we should be leading by a lot more and we're not um, with the fact of the amount of shots that we've had. But it is one goal to one goal all, I should say. One, one all, I should say. One goal all. Um, but there we are. <laughs> Why do I always like mess that up? I don't know. But there we are. Um, yeah, um, it's good to see that um, Moise Keane for them isn't playing particularly well. Like, you know, and that's their main strikers and that's something. So the second half is on the way. Chelsea on the ball with a throw in, and um, Venegas is now going to put this one into the box. And Keane, well, I should have opened my mouth at half time, should I? Saying that he wasn't playing particularly well because uh, we're just not picking up players um, when they're crossing the ball in like you know we've got to like either stop the cross or pick up the player that it's like aiming towards and we've done neither of them in on both of these occasions with both of their goals as you can see just just plenty of time on the ball to like pick a spot and who the hell's like closing down Venegas is beyond me like you know what I mean because he had all the time in the world there to like find his player so we're playing catch up again when considering like you know what I mean we should be winning this game with the amount of attempts that we've had now Mr Warner is on the ball we need a bit of like you know magic from him but he's like decided to lay this back to the captain Drea Drea plays this one all the way across here to Cruz Cruz puts this one in I hope he's there but unfortunately it's just over the bar so, um, coming up to around about 15 minutes, we were playing catch-up. We got made two changes. Cruz has come off because I wanted to bring Piano on, so moved Oli Clay over to the right-hand side. And Onkunku is coming off as well, and Diaz is going to come on and see if we can, like, you know, sort this out. 
Well, sort it out, we couldn't. No, absolutely no changes happened after I brought those, like, you know, players on. And Chelsea have won it. Um, it was a very, very poor performance from us in front of goal. Um, with the amount of shots that we had, we just weren't able to, like, you know, um, do anything. And, um, yeah, three shots on target is all Chelsea got. Two of them hit the back of the net, and um, that was the difference, like, you know. And um, we just... Just weren't on it today. Um, oh, I don't know why. Um, it just wasn't to be, like, you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, <sighs> football, eh? Um, but there we go. Yeah, we've not won the Carabao Cup. Chelsea are going to be um, lifting that. Well, you've just seen them lift that particular piece of silverware. So, yeah, I was expecting maybe a bit of a longer episode. Um, you guys have obviously kind of like, maybe been spoiled by, like, seeing the length of it anyway, like, you know what I mean, of, of how this, like, you know, is has panned out but maybe not the results but there we are like you know yeah um well done to chelsea i suppose um yeah poor day at the office so i will leave you with seeing us knocked off the top of the premier league yeah liverpool as you can see like i say they, they've already beaten um, crystal palace so they are sitting on top we beat valencia which is a good thing um, because that is the more important competition that we want to try and win this season so the carabao cup is done um, it would have been nice to have had that but hey you know and the same goes for like you know the fa cup we don't win it we don't win it we're, we're primarily um, going for the champions league that's the this season that is what i've said like, you know what I mean? Because we have won everything else. And the Champions League is yet to be won. So that is the, the main competition that I'm concerned about. Um, but yeah, join us in the next episode where we will show you our, our we. I don't know where the we come into. I haven't got any people out here except for me. Um, but I will show you um, <laughs> um, the second leg against Valencia to make sure that obviously that we go through in that one to, to book ourselves a place in the next round. Well, hopefully we do anyway. Like if we're going to play like we just did against Chelsea, then we won't. Like, But anyway, thank you so much for tuning in guys um yeah it's a shame that we didn't win the carabao cup but it's not it's not not too disappointed you know it's it's one of them it would have been nice like you know what i mean but um yeah i'm a bit dis i'm more disappointed with the performance really the fact that we had the, the chances to do something and we just didn't do it like you know but there we go you know we'll do it again like another time you know at the end of the day you take it easy and i'll catch you next time dave from Mongo gaming signing off cheers